Buzz Moss Season 2 show on the internet. Welcome to AEG. I am your host, JB, and we are back. And guess who I got with me tonight? I have Dalton. What's up, everybody? Hey, he's back. And I have Marlon, the, the, the cleanup hitter, the, the, the standard bearer, the one that always stands true whenever we record. He's always there with me. <laughs> I, I honestly, I, I have no idea what episode I'm on right now. I have completely I think it's, forgot. It's 102, I want to say. I want to say Marlon's been there for all but at least five of them. Yeah, there's been very few that he has not been a part of. So I would yeah. say no idea easily. I, I am being part of maybe this 99, maybe 97. I don't know. I have to go back and, and relook at some of this. Uh, yeah, I'll have to, we'll have to look that up, actually. That I'm be the bum-ass fun. motherfucker who's missed... <laughs> Probably the, I mean, I gotta, I gotta bet that fucking Danny's catching up to me at this point. No, you're, you're, later on. your job <laughs> is, is takes part of that. I mean, I mean, I have missed some. I've only, I haven't missed that many either, honestly, though. Um, you're not the but, rock, uh, though. Marlon's the rock. No, yeah. rock. Uh, yes, Marlon. Thank you. That's the, that was the phrase I was looking for, but I totally screwed it up. But anyway, yeah, he is the rock that holds this podcast he also looking like the rock dude that yeah he is he's, he's jack no, you need to get not. a brahma bull tattoo on your shoulder yeah i, I think if yeah. i did that uh, my girlfriend would disown me and basically break up with me because she hates the two <laughs> she loves the concept of it uh, she doesn't want really? me to wear one um so it's like if she sees a guy with a tattoo she's like hey i like that it looks cool on me nah she's like no, you have girl, what you're saying not. is what are you saying is your girlfriend would be into me marlon <laughs> <laughs> like she, she likes the idea of tattoos, but she doesn't like the idea of people wearing tattoos. You, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I have, I have no, I have so she's, no so she's crazy. Uh, yes, I wouldn't <laughs> call it like that. But she, she just basically says that your body is a very sacred sanctuary, and and, and unless it's the something sanctuary. like sanctuary, mm. so unless it's for like reasons, for example, like you know, uh, operation, you know, scars, stuff like that, something you want to hide and just make it look pretty. Then she like okay I can see that, but okay I, I can I can get behind that I guess. So that's the thing for her. It's like, like let's say for example I had like a couple of shots you know and and on the chest for some reason I don't know why, and I made it look like it was from you know, uh, Fist of the North Star. Then she'd be like okay you know, okay she she she'd be fine with that, but it's just she's she's not weird but she's very uh, peculiar about stuff. Let let's leave it like that. Uh, and apparently we have lost Dalton to the gray void. No, I'm still oh, here. I'm oh, he's still here. He's like, he took, took his video down. <laughs> uh, it'll, it'll be back up. Just, just give me a minute, guys. Keep, keep rolling. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're gonna have a, a couple things to talk about. I kind of shortened the list because we had a really long list going. Um, but uh, we're gonna talk about there. There was a decent amount of announcements. Um, mainly Yay! we have um, Tony Hawk's. Pro Skater 1 and 2, Mafia Trilogy, Paper Mario, uh, Unreal Engine 5 demo got shown off for the first time. The first PS5, like, running hardware, mm -hmm. basically. Um, and then we have some stuff that Microsoft did, which they showed, quote-unquote, gameplay, which we'll get to. Um, and then uh, beautiful Dalton, gameplay. yeah. And then Dalton wanted to... Uh, wanted, wanted to talk to, about some shit. Yeah, wanted to talk about some, some shit. Some shit that's exactly. on my mind. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna help him with that. We're gonna help him get, use us as a sounding board to get what he needs to get out. I don't know. We so, might go places that we should never go, but we'll, well see. Hey, we'll we'll see what happens. This is this is why you know we're we're expanding our horizons here on the AG show. Uh, yeah, you know, into sure. not just video games. So I mean, that's still gonna be our our core. Our you know. Yeah. It's going to be the core of the onion, but we have other layers of the AEG show. I All just right, made Shrek, a Shrek relax, reference. Okay. I was going to say, I just made a Shrek reference. <laughs> anyway, so there was a few announcements. Um, the, the, I mean, we'll get to the biggest one with the, with the Tony Hawk, at least the biggest one for, for our, our group. But uh, the first one I want to talk about is the Mafia trilogy, which they announced, which is not that impressive because, I mean, two of the games have been out for quite a long... Actually, all the games have been out for a long time. But what they did, uh, 2K, uh, Hangar 13, that makes the Mafia uh, franchise, they did a trilogy release, re-release, where they did definitive editions of two, um, which are, is now available on PS4 and Xbox One, which wasn't available before. So they announced it and then immediately made that one available 
for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, um, and then did a re-release for the PC with like updated you know graphics and stuff like that. Same thing with uh, Mafia 3. They just did a definitive edition, which all the DLC and everything, if you already own Mafia 3, which if you're a PlayStation Plus member, you do own Mafia 3 as long as you you know keep up with the free games. You got like a DLC pack and then updated graphics and everything. So that was cool. But then they announced that coming in August, the end of August, they're going to be doing a full remake of the original Mafia game, which I am super excited for. Well, it's pretty cool. Uh, I've never even played any of them. Right. So the cool thing, too, is if you it's 60 bucks and you get all three games. If you do that, you get them all. If you buy them piecemeal the remake of the first one is forty dollars and then the other two are 30 bucks a piece so if you spend the 60 bucks to get all three of them as a package you're actually saving yourself quite a bit of money in that way you're saving yourself like 40 bucks um but yeah i i'm super excited i mean i i bought it um on uh on the- is uh do you know if Illusion's doing the remake, or is it someone else? I'm not else? exactly sure. I think it, it might be in-house is doing the remake. I am okay. not 100% sure. Um, Actually, does Illusion even still exist? Oh, no, they don't. They're Okay, they're a 2K company now. 2K check, huh? Well, then they must... I mean, if they're 2K, they might... It, they, it might actually... Oh, no, 2K check's not even a thing anymore, so I don't know um, what the fuck they're... So they're, I think they're gone now. Possibly. I'm, I'm like... Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. I just remember, I just remember illusion. I just, ha- I've been so fucking out of the loop, you know, for a long time. It's just, right. they but did yeah, the I'm, first one. I'm super excited um, for that, for that, you know, the remake, honestly, is the thing I'm most excited for. Like, because I mean, they're taking, you're putting it in the Mafia 3 engine. So, I mean, it's a complete, okay, you know, retelling of the original game. Uh, it's Hangar 13 is the main, I'm not sure which 2K studio did it, but Hangar 13 is the, the actual developer. Okay, uh, but uh, so the other announcements that they did were um, unless did you guys have anything else you want to add to the mafia before I move on to the next one? No, but yeah, you're right. It is. It's developed by Hangar 13 and published by 2K. OK, yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, no problem. Um, I tell I haven't been in the video. I've been <laughs> fucking I, I've been out of our own discord for a couple months. At this nah, point. You're good, man. It, you know, we all go through ebbs and flows like, like we talked about. Um, so the other thing. Uh, in which I know Dalton kind of want to gets in gets into a different side of it, but they announced and are going to be releasing in literally like a month and a half uh, a new Paper Mario game. Yeah, I saw that. Um, Paper Mario and the Origami King. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking for one too. For yeah, I mean there it's been quite a while, and this seems to be going back to the, like the Paper Mario roots because Paper Mario has always been like an RPG style Mario game, which is very interesting. Like it's a very different like. It's not like a platformer where the combat is just you jump on the heads of everything. Like, you still do that, but it's all in, like, a turn-based combat system, which is always extremely strange but very fun. Um, so, I mean, it's coming out in the middle of July. Um, I think the same day as Ghost of Tsushima, actually. Uh, the July 17th, I want to say. Um, but I know... I know I'm, like, I'm personally excited for it. I know, like, my girlfriend's super excited for it. But I know, Dalton, you've had a... A bit to say about Nintendo lately. Uh, I don't At know least in you the Discord. To... I... I don't know if you've publicly like talked about it. No, I haven't. I haven't said too much about it. Um, I don't know why you you want to bring this up now, but hey, man, let's just, um, let's hey, just burn the bridges if you want to burn them right now. That's look, I'm. Say. People are gonna think I'm a lunatic. Which, <laughs> if they've been listening to the show, they chances are they probably already do. So, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been on kind of a Nintendo boycott. And that's just because of some of the shitty practices that Nintendo does. I'm sure other companies do similar things, but man, I've just been, I've been so, I think the, the nail in the coffin with Nintendo for me was the, the Pokemon DLC that kind of like solidified it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not saying that's even that bad, but I think like the combination of that and just some of their other things, you know, with like game prices and all that other stuff that they do, it's just, I just don't want to give them my money. I don't. I'm not even trying to like promote it to to get it to catch on or whatever. People can do whatever they want, but as far as my wallet's concerned, I I don't really want to give Nintendo any of any of my money. I mean, there's I I don't. I mean, I understand like the way you've explained it. Like, I completely understand. You know, they they do release a lot of you know 
I, I don't want to call them cash grabs, mm-hmm. but yeah, there's not the many other ways to loud, say man. it. <laughs> like, yeah, there's not that many other ways to say it. Um, but it's a lot of it's 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 a lot of you know re-releasing stuff and doing different versions of stuff and kind of releasing the same thing. You know, like with the Pokemon DLC, like you said, you know, half the price of the game and you get, you know, bits and pieces and you only can get certain Pokemon by buying the DLC. Like, I completely, like, understand. But they've been doing paid DLC with the Pokemon games since they started in terms. But but the way you had to do it was you had to buy a whole other version of the game to get everything. Or you had to know people. But with with a link cable back in the day you had, you had to know someone with a link cable so if your parents didn't buy you a link cable this guy right here um <laughs> you you were fucked you know what i mean you're locked out of content you got to buy a whole nother game for and it's just they've been doing this shit forever you know what i mean they just they they i don't know man it just pisses me off it, they know that the same amount of people if they release one pokemon game are going to buy that game with all the content but they also know if they release two copies those same amount of people with a, like a fraction of those people are going to buy two copies because they're going to buy each version of the game. So they're, obviously they're increasing their revenue that way. And it's, I guess it's a good business practice, but I just think it's shitty. And then to release DLC on top of that, which like I said, they've been releasing DLC for the Pokemon game since they started. And that's, that's just the way I look at it. Maybe it, maybe I'm just fucking crazy and I'm starting to lose my mind. Cause I am getting older <laughs> and, I'm a conspiracy theorist now in terms no. of <laughs> no, I'm not, but you know what I mean? Just getting older and just starting to think about shit differently. No, I, just, I absolutely and then, like, understand where you're coming from. Fucking example, breath of the wild launched with the switch three years ago, three, a little over three years ago now, right? Three and a quarter years ago at this point. Uh, yeah, a little bit. And it's yeah, still like three... 59 99. Yeah. Like I just can't, I just, I just don't think that's okay. I mean, when you have Horizon Zero Dawn, a game that's come out, you know, came out right around um, the same like, time, yeah, like a cup, like a week ahead of time, that has had DLC and everything, and they've already repackaged it as a complete edition that you can get for like twenty bucks. Yeah, if not and, cheaper. Like I think next week when the summer, the Days of Play PS5 summer thing, it's going to be like ten dollars. Yeah, and don't get me wrong. I know Sony does some stupid shit, too. I, I, I We all know that. We've talked about that on the show before. I just think it's just... I think it's just shitty to your consumers. They're I, very I think, egregious. Nintendo's but, very egregious about it is the problem. And they're so loyal. Their, their consumers are so loyal. Maybe Nintendo knows that, and they know they can get away with it. But, like I said, as far as my... I'm not judging anybody. If you want to do that, if you want to buy it, that's, that's fine. I have no issue with that. It just, as far as my wallet is concerned, like I said, I will no longer be buying Nintendo products for the foreseeable future, well, at least. If you I mean, I want understand. to boycott Nintendo, then, well, I got a couple of news for you all. Well, they're not really news per se, but it's just things that have happened over the past couple of months with Nintendo. Number one, um, I remember, I think it was on the last couple of episodes where I told you guys, hey, listen, change your um, password, change your two-step verification system because they are hacks into Nintendo where people are getting their um, credit card information and whatnot. I didn't hear about that. I'm sure you said it in the Discord, but I just I did not hear about two, that. Uh, Nintendo's hardware and source code got leaked. <laughs> so, basically... Yeah, I uh, saw that. So, Nintendo, like, yeah, emulators are going to be very prevalent now. So, Good. basically, for... Almost you, all Nintendo. of the retro games for Nintendo, I want to say probably um, Wii, Wii U, um, uh, what else? Um, most Pokemon games, most um, part, uh, Mario games, stuff like that, got leaked. So basically, people now can basically <laughs> go crazy with most of the Wii games library and most of the Wii U's library as well. Uh, I mean, if you want to boycott Nintendo, well, you can just help with the hackers. You know, I'm just say. If you really I just don't. To stick I don't want to go to prison or have to pay a bunch of money, Marlon. So I'll just, just I'll just go ahead and just, boycott by not spending money. Just be there. Good. You go. That's That'd be kind of counterproductive if I'm losing all my money in a lawsuit to Nintendo. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, think about it. Like, uh, here's the thing for me though. Nintendo loves doing this, and Nintendo has basically broken the fans into just doing what they want to do buy what we put out their, their, their games are specifically priced to never go down and when they do go down 
people go out there like sheeps and buy them because they think I'm getting a deal and I'm like you're not really getting a deal okay uh, you are basically just feeding the machine that Nintendo keeps putting out which says hey yeah, like you're not buying a Mario game that you bought 30 years ago you're buying it now for instead of buying it for 10 bucks oh you're buying it for 7.99 oh great deal like i'm sorry yeah Maybe. like nintendo only really drops their prices when they do the the nintendo selects where they drop like their best quote unquote best sellers to like 20 bucks and that takes like i think it's like five or six years before that even happens mm-hmm. yeah so, and look i don't want to throw shade at their at their oh, development no. at their development because nintendo can develop with the best of them i mean yeah, they put game, out some fucking gems right, right their we games all know are superb that. there's no denying that but like you're going to tell me that fucking Sony Studios and Microsoft Studios aren't putting out, you know what I mean? They they all are. And what's the, what's the price of The Last of Us Remastered right now? It's not still fucking 60 bucks. 20. You know what I mean? Last... It's like 15, 20 bucks right now. Yeah. And, oh. and I'm not saying that. I mean, I think I bet Sony could get away with it, too, if they wanted to. Like, they're they quality could. shit. If yeah, someone wanted to play The Last of Us. Their games. Or, yeah. yeah, yeah. And... Or maybe they couldn't. I don't know. That's just speculation, obviously. We wouldn't right. know unless they did it. But So I thought that it was just for the Wii, Wii U and stuff like that, and Nintendo DS. Uh, no, it's also documentation and internal information for the GameCube, for the Nintendo 64, for the 64 DD. For Jesus Christ, it was 2.8. What? Even Jesus Christ has to pay full price? This is how fun. this is yeah. Jesus Christ should not have to pay full price for games. It was two terabytes of data that basically got leaked from Nintendo. Wow. That That's is how crazy, much man. bullshit they, they yeah, Nintendo sixty four game cubing we uh, in log and source got leaked. I actually out. didn't even see that, so thank you for bringing that up, Marlon. Yeah, I've been really out of the loop with the game. I mean I, I caught the the where they where they breached like you had to change you should probably change your network ID password oh, and, and um, which i of, did so. and, and speaking of the sword codes and sword codes and stuff like that there is out there and i don't know if you guys heard about this but there is out there a legitimate working gears for the ps3 yeah i saw that the gears of war 3 for the playstation 3 yes. um that the epic did is like a possible uh-huh. thing but it was like not supposed to be a thing you know like <laughs> of course they're gonna get that shit to i mean if it can run on an xbox 360 it's gonna be able to run on a ps3 like it's not rocket science it, it, I wouldn't say it's it'd be like, sweet if it run on a fucking pc they need to release gears 2 and 3 on pc they really haven't i thought they did i don't think they are i mean, I mean maybe they did you might be 100 percent correct i honestly don't remember maybe they released for the microsoft console or i know the the original gears because they did the ultimate edition or whatever the remaster or whatever the fuck was it a remaster? oh yes that's no, on like PC. a remaster yeah you're yeah, you're two right two and three you are, are right. not i believe you, you are cannot, unless you emulate them somehow i think but yeah i'm gonna look this up go you know keep talking <laughs> in fucking awkward silence because jeff told us to keep talking well no, yeah no, so. right like Marlon and I are just staring into each other's eyes right now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, it, it's, uh, we just need right now um, Sebastian from The Little Mermaid going saying, kiss the girl in the background. That's all we need right now. So, no, it, it I would a, totally it was kiss you right now, Marlon. Peace. You're looking good at all that working out you've been doing. Yeah, no, I don't work out. <laughs> I just sweat a lot. Uh, it was released for PC, but it was a Games for Windows Live game, which I think are very difficult to play yeah. now. Fair enough. Not a surprise. So, moving on from most of Nintendo's BS and, and yeah. So and, yeah, like Nintendo, I said, I don't want to. I don't want to like judge anybody or no. make anyone. I mean, I'm gonna probably bombing. right. Like, I'm gonna probably pick up you know the new Paper Mario game because I think it looks you know cool. But I completely respect the fact that you are, don't want to give them their money. You, you know, your money. I completely and get it. I just say this. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and this For leads sure. to my rant about video game industry as a whole right now and how. I have become so disillusioned by the whole situation. Um, can game developers stop fucking putting out gameplay or trailers or more specifically, more egregious logos for video games that are not ready and are not going to be ready for the next five, six, seven fucking years? 
Okay, I am yeah. looking at you, Metroid Four. I have n- no, not a single fucking thing we have heard from Nintendo for Metroid Four at all. Or Bayonetta Three. Or Bayonetta Three. Or fucking. Here's I got to be honest though, Nintendo is usually pretty good about that. But when they say they're going to release a game, they usually hit hit their mark. But yeah, I agree. Those two games for like, sure. And, and this is the thing for me for, and this is what ties me up for E3. Oh, what I thought was going to be E3. Yeah. Um, it it's. I I think that developers are so. Basically, we live in a world right now where it is we gotta make deadlines. We gotta make money we have to basically uh make our investors and make the quarterly sales happy not the gamers and nowadays it just seems to me that instead of maybe it's because of that situation where i become so disillusioned by this whole situation with gaming is the fact that i i I am sick and tired of being led like a goddamn sheep with promises and and you know the promises of beautiful gameplay for the next generation and it takes one step forward and three steps back i look at the whole xbox gameplay reveal and i just say to myself first of all that is not gameplay that is not gameplay which we can just we can go straight into that if you want to it is in-game rendering of a scene used on a powerful PC that took a lot of fucking time to render, then shown on a fucking movie screen on a fucking theater running at 60 frames per 60 frames rate 60 frames per second, but it is a movie. It is not mm-hmm. gameplay. And and I got burned by Anthem because of this. I, I'm looking yeah. at Anthem and I'm like, wow, this game looks amazing. It looks awesome. Gameplay comes out. Nothing like the fucking reveal. I look at so the... So you think they should say, you know, like maybe in-engine rather than gameplay. Unless yeah, it's actual ga- game, yeah. uh, gameplay footage. Cause, yeah, I cause, agree with you. And a lot of times they do, but then like they were hyping up that Assassin's Creed Valhalla um, trailer... Oh. For game, like specifically saying a gameplay reveal, and it was like it was like That's ten it. seconds of actual quote unquote gameplay, gameplay. And it's a wrapped in a trailer. Right, it's a cutscene. It, it's like it's like you watch. Uh, it's not you know like the camera's not behind the character. You're not doing things. There's no HUD. There's no nothing. It's just oh here's like a thing that will happen in the gameplay, but it's a rendered cutscene. It's like. We don't want, we, we are tired of, or at least I am tired of being let by the nose with this, like, whole, oh, we're going to show you gameplay of the game. Like, no, you're showing me a cutscene that's going to happen in game, but it's not showing me how the game is going to play. Like, like, for example, I looked at the old trailer for No Man's Sky, and, and I, I saw that. I'm like, this says in game in-game engine reveal and gameplay and it shows you how this this is basically set up and for me it's annoying because you're paying 60 bucks for false advertisement and there's very few games that do show you that like god of war you saw that you got it hey beautiful it was amazing gameplay you got it and and and, and there was no false advertisement for that for Horizon Zero Dawn, even though I barely play the game, what you saw on the trailers is what you saw in game. But most of the time, it is just we're gonna show you a cutscene of what you think you're gonna like, but that is not how the game play is gonna be in game. Like you could show me the most amazing, you know racetrack on the world with the the most you know realistic you know water droplets you can ever see but if the gameplay runs like shit then why am i here it's like then i'm just watching a pretty movie with shitty shitty you know gameplay mechanics and stuff like that and i just gotten tired of it you know i've gotten so tired of it that i look at um i don't remember what was the game that came out a couple of days ago um it was for the um, PS4, um, 
I saw Ghost of Tsushima. And I'm looking at Ghost of Tsushima and I'm like... I'm liking this and it looks really cool. I like the style of it all, but how is it gonna play? How is it gonna be when I actually controlling this thing? How tight the controls are gonna be? And for me, I just, I have had it. I have absolutely had it. Uh, Final Fantasy VII, I love the game. I thought the graphics were amazing, but there were some parts in that game where it just felt really freaking janky as hell. It felt that you were not having complete control it's like for me i got so used to playing final fantasy 15 right and i got so used to playing that style then i was playing right. final fantasy 7 i'm like and eh, this is not what i was expecting um mm. the camera w- was really janky at times you know you would try to control it and it just goes its own freaking way um i don't want to like bash in, uh, xbox for the whole x play x play gameplay review or stuff like that but to me I never saw any gameplay. I saw trailer, 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 cinematic, 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 trailer, trailer, and maybe an inkling of gameplay in that, you know, top-down, third-person view. Um, um, what was it? Like, like a, a, it looked like a Diablo clone. I, I don't want to say it's a Diablo clone, but it looked like that. Um, so, so, yeah. And then I saw Sony's gameplay reveal. And half For of me was blown Ghost away. Shushima? No, no, like the their um in uh, Unreal Four Engine. Um, oh, okay. Uh, how the, the the reveal was for Unreal Four Engine and how it's gonna look like for the PS4 and Xbox. I loved it, but for me it was. I am being very skeptical about it, like unless I see that thing running on a PS5 that I am holding on my hands, I am not gonna buy into their uh, marketing mechanics because you can tell me oh it's running on a ps5 but you could tell me that but unless i see that uh, i'm not going to believe you because i've been burned by anthem and that 90 bucks still makes me get angry man you have no idea how 90 i spent 90 bucks on a fucking game that i barely got halfway through it didn't enjoy the gameplay didn't enjoy the story didn't enjoy the mechanics of, of how you're supposed to grind and loot for it. and now you're telling me that freaking bioware is two three four years away from relaunching the game again yeah that that for me like and i'm sorry for ranting i'm sorry for going on this long tangent but but i just needed to like get that shit out of my fucking chest man yeah i mean i think all of us were pretty burned by anthem i mean not a whole lot of good to say about it, but I, I, I'm, I'm with you, Marlon. I, I played it a little bit this past winter, and I, I got some enjoyment out of it, but I think that was more because I was playing with my cousin and stuff like that. You know, and I right, haven't really, like I haven't really played a community game since Destiny. So, yeah, if you're playing with people, uh, Anthem's not terrible, but any man, game can be it, good if you're playing with people. Exactly, it, it burned all of us very yeah. much so. But, I mean, you guys got to do a show out of it, though. You guys put out some quality content, and I I think it, it, it had its upsides, for sure. But, yeah, I think Anthem... <laughs> I, I don't think it will be going in my PlayStation anytime soon or be getting downloaded to my PC or anything like that. But I was going to go back and try to get the Platinum for it, but I was like, nah. nah I haven't even Platinum the game since, like, January, early January this year, so... But, um, I mean, Marlon, you kind of covered most of our topics <laughs> um, in that in that tangent. Which that was a good fine. rant. That's a, that was, was a good, good rant. You know, this Jeff and I just sat back and listened. Yeah, that was good, man. Le- yeah, let you, let you go, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, we kind of said our part about the, the Microsoft, you know, their, their gameplay debacle, so to speak. Um, they are going to be still doing their monthly reveals, which the big one will be in July. Um, they're going to be doing a um, they're showing off their first party, mainly from what they have you know, what I've heard rumors around the uh, around the interverse uh, is that they're going to show off Halo um, finally. Yeah, Halo some some, yeah, some type of Halo gameplay, hopefully, quote unquote gameplay, let's hope. Um, and then, yeah, Jeff Keighley has been doing her, his uh, summer games fest, which 
he showed off the PlayStation 5 slash Unreal Engine 5 demo, which is not an actual game, but it's a, um, it's like a, you know, like a tech demo, but it's a, it's a game. It, it looked like an actual, you know, game that they were showing off, which it, it looked just freaking amazing. Some of the tech that they're going to be able to do with that thing is just incredible, which makes me, you know, yes, I'm excited for the PlayStation five, but it makes me super happy that I have a, you know, a beast of a PC that should be able to, you know, run some of these really, you know, these coming, these games coming soon in in high quality. Oh, um, you should have no problem. Yeah. I mean, I have a, a at least for a, quite a few years, I'd say right, a couple uh, more years. pretty damn good graphics card in here. So, yeah. I mean, I could run pretty much anything right now in ultra. No yeah. problem. Not oh, even yeah. take a hiccup. Um, but uh, the other thing that Jeff Keighley's uh, Summer Games Fest, the uh, the initial announcement, like the big thing that he showed off, the very first thing, was something I know Marlon and I want to kind of touch on uh, tonight, which is the uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 uh, re-release. Speaking of cash grabs, <laughs> you know, games that I mean, from our childhood, um, I mean, I know for me personally, like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater was one of the first uh, N64 games I've ever owned. So that was very, very near and dear to my heart. Um, just the soundtrack, the gameplay, just it's just dumb fun. And like you'd have your friends over and just see who can get the highest score and just, you know, dick around and just have fun with it. And so um, they announced that they will be releasing in September, September 4th um, for PC, uh, PS4 and Xbox One, uh, The this, this two-pack re-release. It's going to have... The first and second game, they said most of the soundtrack will return, which that's, a, you know, a lot of people's stuff with Tony Hawk is the soundtrack and, yeah. you know, the music behind the actual game itself. Um, and I then point out that PC release real quick, because that's what I'm excited for, because the first actually I don't think any of the Tony Hawk games have ever been released on PC. <laughs> it's been a it, it, it probably I mean, there's probably one or two that have been, but it's been, you know, a long time since we've gotten anything like that. So, yeah, yeah I mean, they able, probably I mean, have, is, but the unfortunate side of it is that it is an Epic game store, uh, exclusive on the PC. For how long is it? Time exactly. Or? It, that, not that I, not that I read anywhere. I, I, it probably is, but not that I know of off the top of my head. I mean, yeah, I get, I get people don't like using it, but if that's the only place I could buy it. I'll buy it because that's where I bought Control. I mean, that's where I played Control on Epic Store. I haven't had any issues with Epic Store. I, I really like. Their, I mean, they've been hitting some banger. Like they give the freebie games every week. Yeah, I mean, they just did. They GTA did GTA Five, 5 was last week, which broke is broke the internet. Broke the internet. Yeah, broke their their launcher. Like you could not log in for almost a day mm-hmm. because it, it people were trying. So many people were trying to get that game for free, and so then. Civ Civ Six Civ they did this week, um, which I'm super excited for. I downloaded that already. I'm gonna give that a shot next chance I get. Um, but um, but yeah, like the t- going back to Tony Hawk, like it. I mean, I'm super excited. I I love those games so I was much. Hoping I'm still kind of holding out hope for the Skate franchise because I've never played them, but I've heard really good things about them. And I'd love to play those on PC because those were Xbox exclusive, weren't they? Those were, no, those were on PlayStation, weren't they? Those were on um, PS- they PS3 were yeah, initially initially 360. Okay. And then I think they ended up coming to PS3. They might have been the same time. I honestly did. Let me here. Let me. Look. I do not know either, but I know that I haven't been able to play them because they haven't re released them for current gen. I know you can Xbox One uh, backwards compatible, but. I would have to fire up the Xbox One, which I have not done in. Yeah, uh, Skate Three for sure was um, was PC or was um, PS3 and 360 same day. Um, yeah. So was Skate Two. I'm and pretty sure they all Skate were. One was yeah. They're all three. They were all three on both platforms. But yeah, they're they they never re released them besides you know Xbox backwards compatibility, which is still sweet by the way. I, I speaking can't go back, but... of xbox backwards compatibility uh and this is one thing that i i, I want to actually praise microsoft and i don't want to just just keep you know shedding on them for their stupid ass fucking gameplay review uh, <laughs> but here's the thing though the fact that microsoft it is doing smart delivery and and, and offering that um cross by 
upgrade thing for their games mm. is freaking sweet as can be. The fact that Microsoft no longer cares about if you buy it on the Xbox Series X or on the Xbox One X or in the Xbox um Triple X. Smart smart delivery, isn't that what it's called? Yep. And and the fact that you buying one game allows you to basically have the ability to play on all different consoles, whether you're on PC, Xbox, or Xbox Series X. See, that's, that's what I love most about it is like I thing. can like with Minecraft Dungeons comes out on Tuesday, and like I know you know my my girlfriend's oldest wants to play it, and I have the Xbox hooked up in in the room the kids use, and they can play it on there, and but I can also play it on my PC and everything, and everything syncs and everything you know it's all. You know that uh, kudos to Microsoft for doing that. Seriously, like I know they've had their you know their ups and downs, especially with their you know, like you said, their gameplay you know debacle. Which I mean, in in retrospect, is not a huge deal. It was kind of pretentious for them to say gameplay and then not reveal gameplay. But <laughs> a lot of the other stuff they're doing in the industry right now is just okay. that's, that's right. What doing. There you go. That's that's a good word for it, but like everything else they're doing in the industry right now is is pretty darn revolutionary. I yeah. mean, I love it. I love what Microsoft's doing. It's definitely pro consumer in my opinion. Absolutely, hundred percent. And, 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 it, and it's funny, you know why? Because this was what Microsoft was originally trying to do back when the Xbox um, Series X came out. That's what they wanted. That was what they were trying to do. They were saying, "Hey, listen, we we." The reason what we want to do is is because we want to make sure that it doesn't matter if you buy it online or digitally, you can have access to any type of library. People didn't like it because at that point, people were still... Physical games at that point still were a very large part of the industry. As the decline for GameStop has gone down, as the decline for the mom and pop shops have gone down because of how easy it is nowadays to basically go online buy the game, download it, and just it has become much more you know, convenient for people to do this, you know, this is when now Microsoft is prime and positioned themselves to be able to do this and pull it off. Sony tried pulling it off cross by. They didn't really work that well because they never gave the support to the Vita that they were supposed to. The fact that they were supposed to, hey listen, if you buy this version of the game on the Vita, then you can basically play it on the PS4, no issues at all. Or, hey, listen, if you play this game on the Vita and you download it and save your file, you can still continue on on your PS4. And it was a great idea, just badly implemented. And I feel that Microsoft saw this, saw the blunders that Sony did, and they're saying, we're not going to do that. We're going to basically centralize everything so that it doesn't matter if you bought it on the X or you bought it on the PC or you bought it on the old generation consoles. Regardless of where you bought it, you're still going to have access to that save file no matter where you are. And you're going to have access to those games if you choose to upgrade. That's a great fucking model. I'm sorry. That's amazing. And Mm -hmm. I just wish developers would follow into lying as opposed to fucking EA and saying oh yeah we're just gonna do our own thing and I'm like <sighs> why yeah. should I trust you when you have fucked up everything EA you have fucked up everything that you have touched over the past two decades I don't trust you your service is gonna be garbage I'm calling they it they really now. have too I mean they really have. they fucked up a lot of shit even like their, their recent Star Wars game, a lot of people liked it, but I thought it was kind of boring, in my opinion. I didn't think it was that good of a game all, all around. I didn't think it was a horrible game. Like fall, I'm talking about Fallen Order, of course. Um, I didn't think it was a horrible game, and they've, they've come a long way with Battlefront 2, I've heard. But, yeah, like like Marlon said, they just... I feel like they destroy everything. Like, everything I, that they touch lately has Yeah, been I mean... Just, yeah, uh, I, I definitely agree. They, they've they kind of, you know, quote-unquote shit the bed for yeah. quite some time now and that's I not mean, just their games evil. aren't bad but no it's just they, 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 they it, they're not bad. well yeah but uh, they're not you know they're not doing anything you know egregiously terrible anymore somewhat yeah <laughs> that's that that's that's basically the, the the bar that we have set ea at 
Okay. Right. He basically says like, hey, you're not fucking it up like all the fucking time. Here's a little yeah, golden like star you're only fucking you. it up some of the time now, not all the time. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't want to. I feel like we could make a whole episode bashing EA. Oh, absolutely. But I don't, I don't really want to do that. I don't either. That being said, can we just for sauce. for a quick second? You guys might have talked about it on the previous show, but can we just talk about how awesome Valhalla looks for a second? Freaking it. Yeah, we actually haven't. No, we haven't done an episode since it was uh, officially announced. So. Oh my god, dude! And and there was a time I wouldn't even have been even after seeing what I've seen of it, I would not be even be excited for. It. But after playing Origins and Odyssey. It oh, is absolutely. probably one of my most anticipated. It's right up there with Cyberpunk, dude. Like, yeah, Cyber Cyberpunk, um, Last of Us, and and Valhalla are my three like easily most anticipated games of of twenty twenty. Easily. Yeah, and oh. I, I don't know. I feel like I'm I'm definitely buying the Last of Us when it comes out for sure. Like, no, oh, absolutely. Down, but I feel like the delays and stuff have kind of taken my excitement down a little bit. Not to mention now it's coming out right in the middle of my work season, so I don't. I'm not. I'm just not super, super amped for it. But I, I mean, I'm still excited, but like not as much as I was. Like when it was planned for that February release date, dude, I was fucking jacked. You know what I mean? Like then it got delayed like a month later. But but yeah, back to back to Valhalla, dude. I am so fucking excited for that. I wouldn't be surprised if that's one of the best games this year. I mean, it could even be game of the year. I mean, we'll see. But just based on Origins and Odyssey, especially Odyssey, in my opinion, Origins was fantastic too, but Odyssey was just like perfected what Origins did. So we'll see. I think for me is, yeah, um, I'm very excited. I think for me for Valhalla is the fact that when I saw some of those um, illustrations and, and art designs for how the armor might look in game, the first thought <laughs> that came to my head was, oh, shoot okay, I might actually play this and enjoy it a lot more than I did with Odyssey. And I love Odyssey. And, and even though I got to go back and, and finish it, it's the fact that I love Greek mythology. Don't get me wrong. But I have been, I don't know, I guess you could say I am. I'm, I'm kind of have been... I say drinking or eating. Wow, what the fuck? Uh, I will say I've been a lot reading a lot of uh, Greek mythology. I've been watching a lot of shows about Greek mythology. I just been kind of being you know oversaturated by it, you know, mm -hmm. over the years. So I lately I just been watching and reading and just you know consuming a lot of you know Norse mythology. You know, living with Odin. You know, uh, living with all you know the, the Valkyries and stuff like that. You know, Freya. You know, Sigfroy and stuff like that. And Sigmund and all and all those characters and heroes from 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 Norse mythology, you know, Beowulf and, and whatnot. And when I saw this with Valhalla, I thought, please, 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 don't fuck it up, please, because this looks like a game that I really want to spend like a hundred hours just, 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 just. just you know, I don't think they're going to. I don't think they're gonna fuck it up. No, I, I think, think I think nail gonna, it. I think it's gonna be stupendous. I just hope that I just hope that because lately I mean you saw what the last two year break did for him. Yeah, let's be honest. You saw what the last two year break did for him, Marlon. I mean when and when they came out with Origins, I didn't play it right away because I was on my anti Assassin's Creed uh, <laughs> kick. <laughs> but uh, um, but when that came out, it it was it was extremely well received like so i think this next because obviously it's been almost two years now since odyssey came out i think i think they're gonna just build upon what odyssey did i think i, I i'm not gonna lie i kind of trust ubisoft right now i've got a lot of oh yeah they're still up there with man with my one of my favorite companies in gaming period they they make so many of my favorite games like that's why i have i have very much i have a lot of faith in <laughs> here's the thing though um because i like i i, I was i was gonna say like dude man just uh, seeing valhalla i just literally got reminded of god of war okay and and i, mm -hmm. and I got reminded of like oh man yeah i really want to play god of war too uh but here's the thing though um they did come out and say that valhalla was going to be slightly smaller and slightly shorter than odyssey and origins and mm -hmm. for me is if you're able to trim the fat that 
Origins yeah. and Odyssey had in certain yes, areas. Yes, please. And you Especially can Odyssey. It. Odyssey had more fat than Origins did. And, and you can trim it and you can, uh, you know, stream it down and make it much more enjoyable. I'm done with that. However, if you are going to keep some disgustingly bad quests where it's just for filler and then basically basically are just saying it's going to be shorter and smaller just to add more DLC later down the line, that's going to be the better freaking quest. I'm going to be pissed. I'm saying this right now. I am going to be pissed because I want to play the game and I want to play the cool shit inside the game, not way two three four five months later down the line says hey listen here's what you were looking for here's the weapons that you were wanting since the beginning of the game now you can buy on the dlc it's gonna cost you 19.99 and i'm gonna be like fuck you because again I, <laughs> I completely see where you're coming from but again though with origins and odyssey both there was so much fat in the game itself but like you said if they're gonna trim it but i think they're gonna nail it because like the games were fantastic and then the DLCs for those games were fucking fantastic. Like, um, Odyssey, they they're still supporting Odyssey with shit. I mean, I think the last with the last uh I don't know if they're still putting out content, but I know they're still supporting both games. But they dude, there was so much cool content in the DLC. When I played through, I was very fortunate when I played uh Origins because I had all the DLC at my disposal. So right when I finished the story, I just jumped right in. But Odyssey, I've not gone back and played the DLC yet, but I really want to. I have heard really excellent things about the DLC for Odyssey as well. Mm -hmm. And they, it's not like Ubisoft. I don't think Ubisoft is known to hold withhold content for DLC because those are both full games by themselves. They they were worth the sixty dollars price tag without the DLC, hands yeah. down. Yep. And I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna stick to that. I, I have no reason to doubt right now that Ubisoft won't. I think they, they, like you said, like I'm, I'm remaining hopeful for how you know Ubisoft feels with Valhalla. Uh, uh, another developer that I have no hope for, Bethesda. Bethesda. <laughs> I, I said it too. We're yeah, fucking but, we're on, we're on like, the same page. Like, like I'm sorry, man. Bethesda, you you you've got down the shit hole, man. Bethesda. Unfortunately. Has, yeah. It's like, yeah, let's be let's be honest. I mean, they've done a lot of improvements. Doom, to like off, Doom but... Eternal was good, but that was that was more ids doing than uh, Bethesda's. Oh yeah, I, don't even get me started. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll get, get we'll yeah we'll talk. I about just know that, that they not. yeah they they just said that Elder Scrolls Six is still what another five six years out at least. But fuck it, I mean Rockstar is doing the same shit with Grand Theft Auto. At least they didn't reveal it, but it's yeah, still dude. so stupid. They they just got caught milking fucking GTA Five, and now they're gonna they're not paying for it because they're still getting fucking tons of money from that game. But I'm calling it now. Why would they rush? You know what I mean? Why would they rush? People are so I am calling it now. 2021. We are going to be getting the Skyrim's 10th year anniversary edition with a limited edition console for the PS5. And we're going to be... And they're going to milk it onto fucking 2024, 2025, where Elder Scrolls 6 is going to come out and people are going to... Those don't even sound like body. real years. Like a real year. I'm probably gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> like that's, that's the I, only way I, I can won't. think of. Like, no, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Not. What you're gonna I'm play Skyrim on what on your freaking toaster now? Like, I am yeah. Skyrimed out. Like hey, I haven't you played play that it game on your forever. Google Home or whatever the hell it was, Alexa. Alexa. Uh, then I guarantee you could probably play it on a toaster. Uh, uh, Dalton, you could probably play it on your new smart washing machine. I guarantee it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'll have to try. I have to call Samsung and see what they yeah, say. Yeah, get, get, get on that. Do it, yeah. man. So for Beta me, Bethesda test that shit. Has, has just gone. The thing for me is just like Bethesda had so much goodwill. And they just yeah, shit they, everything they poop, away. They pooped the bed. Yeah, they shit on it. Yeah, the the, the all biggest one it. for me right now was the whole shenanigans with Doom Eternal. I'm sorry. If you're doing DRM on kernel level PC BS... I'm sorry, you are not helping anybody. When <laughs> you are putting software inside somebody else's computer that allows him to have administrative access to said computer that is opening a fucking hole the size of Uranus, okay, into your fucking computer and privacy. I am sorry. That is neither needed nor wanted. You are 
making a bigger issue than you should have. But what? What do they think? Why are they doing this for? It is not for Doom Eternal. It is not for that uh, any game that, that may need it or want it for the Doom Eternal's multiplayer. No, the reason why they're doing that is because so they can freaking add it to all the other fucking games coming out during the next couple of years. So, hey, listen, now you can basically buy our stuff or hark our stuff so you can just have to play it or give us money to get our currency. Example, if you're trying to cheat in a single player game, if you bought the game and you want to cheat it and use a, I don't know, a hacking tool and stuff like that for a single player game i have no issues with it because you are paying money to do whatever you want to do with your game and that is it i have no issues with that multiplayer yes i have issues with that but if you're going to basically add this into a video game to basically first people to buy your microtransactions and currency i am sorry you can go to hell for that <laughs> i mean i can't say i disagree with you man yeah. Yep, I'm with you. Um, like you know what but, I'm talking about. You, 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 you specifically, Dalton, get screwed by this. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I but, do. Um, so I guess um, moving on. Yeah, to our our like I guess main topic. I know, and that maybe not main topic, but it's something that Dalton wanted to to the bring to the table. A the meats and potatoes. All right. So listen. Dalton, the floor is yours, sir. Listen. All right. Listen. We're going to, I'm going to go into some things. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to go into these things first. And then if you're still around, you're still with us and you still want to listen to our show after that, we'll go into what AEG is going to do <laughs> going forward after this. But yeah, I, I just, all right, if you haven't learned anything from this show over the past two and a half years, you, I mean, you obviously haven't been listening, but you would know that I'm actually all of us, really. None of us are really big internet people. Like, it's kind of odd that we even have a podcast, to be perfectly honest with you, because we're not we're not the type that's going to hang out on social media all day or post our feelings or pictures of our sandwiches. And uh, but but I I do see the things that people post, especially because like I try to get on the AEG account as much as possible. And scroll through the timelines because I genuinely like the people that we follow. I genuinely, you know, care about what they say or like what they're doing and stuff like that. Because like I feel like with this, you know, the gaming community and stuff like that, we've built some good friendships for sure. But we've also met a lot of douchebags, and I just I just want to call out some of you. Um, some of you might be our friends, and I still hope we can be friends after this. But some of you are just out here. For, for attention, for clicks, and that's kind of like what we're all doing. We're we're out here, we're doing this podcast for attention. Like, we want people to listen, so I guess we're no better. But the problem is, it's like some of you are just sitting around looking for the next thing to get outraged about so that you can post on it and get your sympathy likes, sympathy comments, or whatever, and you're just, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be a joke, it could be... Something so simple, but you're just sitting here and you're fucking whatever your whatever room you're sitting in, your fucking bitch ass room, and you're just you're just waiting. You're waiting to get outraged about nothing and it's fucking pathetic. Like it's not like a like you're a grown man, whatever. You're it's nothing like that. Nothing to do with man or woman, nothing. You're 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 fucking adults. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you have to grow the fuck up and, and act like it. And I'm so fucking sick of all you pathetic, weak motherfuckers. Like, you don't have to be this big badass dude fuck going out and fighting people to be strong. You know what I mean? You can just – I just – I have so much to say on this, and I'm so bottled up right now. Yeah. I and I'm trying imagine. not to – I'm trying not to, like, lose it because some of you people just fucking piss me off. Like, there's so many of you, and we've actually unfollowed quite a bit of people. I have anyway. I go through and if you're if you're a douchebag, you're a douchebag. I don't care. But there's so many people that'll like they'll make this big Twitter announcement like, oh, I'm leaving social media. I'm leaving Twitter and all this stuff. And that that's fine. You know what I mean? If you want to leave Twitter or whatever and get your get your ducks in a row, get a hold of the people you want to get a hold of before you leave. Whatever. I I, I can kind of understand that. I don't think you need to make a big announcement. But if you if you if you do, I don't really have too big of a problem with it. 
But then you come back 10 minutes later and you're like, you know what? I'm not going to let you people get the best of me or whatever the fuck you want to say to yourself. Whatever you want to say to yourself, you're like, I'm back now. You guys can't bring me down. Whatever. The, shut the fuck up. You're just doing it for attention. It's at the end of the day, out, yeah, at the end of the day, just fucking grow up. Like, I don't want to use the phrase, like, man up or anything. Like that, that's, that's an outdated phrase. Grow the fuck up. Like, I don't care what your gender is. I don't care. I don't care what you put in your mouth. I don't give a fuck. If you've, if you've listened to me throughout this whole thing, if you follow me on Twitter, my personal account, you know where I stand on a lot of issues politically, both whatever. And I don't want to go there tonight because I don't want anyone thinking like, like, hey, I support this person. I can't listen to this show because of this guy. I don't want that. Like if you – whoever you support, whoever – whatever you support, I want you to be able to listen to the show and know that we, we don't care. We accept you whether you disagree with us or not. But at the same time, man, you got you got to grow the fuck up. You know what I mean? You, you're all adults. Here's the thing for me, and and, uh, and I want to pick it back a little bit on what you were talking about, is the fact that I don't know what has happened over the past decade or so. You know, maybe it's because of, of how Twitter has become a bigger, you know, social media platform and has allowed some of these people to finally get their thoughts out. The problem that I have with cancel culture is that yeah, I was going to go into that next, Milo, but yeah, go ahead. Like, it's like the problem <laughs> I have with cancel culture is the fact that it it doesn't look at the facts. It do, doesn't look at the information. It just it goes, goes off to, of feelings. It goes by feelings and emotions and just goes by, oh, who who I want to, who has done me wrong, quote unquote, has done or, me wrong that I need exactly. to basically cancel them because I, I feel that I am morally superior to them, you know? Mm-hmm. And... I've been saying this word a lot, sanctimonious. That's what people feel now. They feel morally superior to other people, and they feel that they have to be judged and executioner at the same time. Mm -hmm. I want to say this. Your forefathers, your great-great-granddad, your great-granddad, they went to wars. They went to d-day they said hey listen we need you to go fight this war because we need as a society to fight this nazi people and we cannot let them win they gave up their lives for that some gave up their feelings and emotions because when they came back they were absolutely fucking shell shock not post-traumatic stress syndrome as some people like to say that's just basically putting a lot of words to basically somebody who got fucked in the head because of what he saw in the war and what mm-hmm. have we asked the society for this generation stay home don't do anything stupid you can do that and yet we see people getting mad getting annoyed getting angry getting offended by it hey listen i've been working i've been, I've been because uh, and this is, deals with the coronavirus thing here i work in a cleaners right now all we ask is that you wear your mask all we ask is that you stay away from other people and that you don't do anything stupid and yet people come out and look offended as if i'm asking them to do a great fucking deal with that shit i'm sorry okay if you go to twitter and you go to social media you see all these people complaining about every little thing in their lives because yeah. they're not happy because they because they're getting the clicks too they're getting the pat on the back that they think exactly. they need exactly it's like this oh and I'll, and I'll give an example Donald Trump says something stupid. <laughs> yeah. People get mad. Some other people don't get mad. For me, no, I don't get... care what he does. He's the president. He can do whatever he wants He wants to do. What you cannot uh, do yeah. is then tell me that he... What he's doing is basically something wrong or horrible. No, he's just giving his opinion on Twitter. Just like you're giving your opinion on Twitter. Okay? Right. So... If you're going to go and bash them for whatever he's saying, and then you're going to do the same thing yourself, you're being a hypocrite. I'm sorry. Yeah. And look, like, and, <laughs> but as Marlon, yeah, as Marlon was saying, like, and I don't want, like, I, I just said it a little bit ago, I don't want you to come in here and be like a, a Trump supporter or whatever. It, I don't want you to be like part of, affiliated with that and come here and listen to our show and feel like you're not welcome because you are. But I don't want you to like be on the other side and feel like you're not welcome either because you are. But, if you know me, you know I don't support Trump. Everyone that knows me, I've made that very clear on my on my 
my personal page. We don't go into it on the AEG page, but I, I, I feel like there's such a disconnect anymore. Like people just, it's either, it's all black and white with people anymore. Like, and it shouldn't be like that. Like there's, there's people like, fuck, I work on a crew of literally 100% all Trump supporters, dude. And I'm the only one that's not, but they're all my friends. Um, one of the guys we had on the show, I, I've, I've talked about him a couple of times, uh, Gus. He's a Trump supporter, and I still like that dude, man. I know we had our differences and stuff like that, but you know what? If at the end of the day we were able to disagree and be respectful to each other about it, and we we did that for two years, um, and, and honestly, if he were to send me a message right now saying he wants to come back on the show or wants to be on the show again, I would, dude, he'd be in here. He'd be right back here right now. I'd put him on this fucking discord or this skype call right now (laughs) um because and and that's just the thing is people just can't separate shit anymore um and it's so unfortunate and it's they go based off of how they're feeling that day or whatever and this isn't like an anti like an anti like mental health thing or anything like that because a lot of people go through shit that i don't understand right because i'm I don't have any mental health issues that I know of. I mean, I get pissed off at shit no, sometimes. No, 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 no. What you're supposed to say is that you are a privileged white male who has no issues, who's who, Listen, who I... has, <laughs> has had a wonderful life, who has never had to go through any type of adversity. Fuck that. I'm sorry. Okay, everybody goes through adversity. It doesn't matter your race, doesn't matter your religion, doesn't matter your skin color. It doesn't matter. Everybody goes through bullshit. But if you're gonna start. Mm-hmm looking at all each other it's like oh if he's white that means that he has never has to go through shit if he's black that means that he has gone through every horrible thing imaginable in life and i'm sorry it it could be the opposite you know yeah and, and, and yeah you like have, and you have to understand it's like people are different where yeah. you came from in life is your life your mm-hmm. experiences, your stuff, your struggles, whatever has you, you. If you have gone through depression and anxiety, there's a lot of people that have gone through that as well. You're not some special snowflake. So, first of all, fix yourself. Understand what you have problems and fix yourself and find people that will help you fix yourself. Okay? Yeah, someone's always, there's always people that are going to be willing to talk to you because like, I like I said I don't I don't want to go into that too much because I don't fully understand it I don't know what some of you some of you go through that go through all that stuff and I don't you know what I mean I don't pretend to know I have no idea but but that goes it goes back to what Marlon Marlon's saying most people especially most people like us we've we've all struggled man I lived I've lived in a car on multiple occasions man I've been homeless several times man I I lived in my Jeep in the middle of winter for like I don't know I two months i think and it was like negative 40 that winter and shit it was fuck cold and like and i know like there's some people who are like well at least you had that jeep <laughs> well yeah fuck i mean i wasn't sleeping outside in a bag or something but it was still like i haven't had it the easiest but i also haven't had the roughest i didn't have to fucking migrate from a third world country like marlon did you know what i mean like he you had it probably worse than i did but and the, the, the thing though but is we don't like, we don't sit here and bitch about it like exactly what well, that's what that's the thing that i'm t- trying to get people to understand is the fact that your story your life story is yours okay it could be worse it could be better but it is yours and that doesn't make you better than somebody else that does just because somebody has been suffering more than you doesn't make that person more hollier than thou just because oh they went through more shit than you no nobody wants to go through shit like if nobody here is gonna be saying, "Oh, I've gone through basically three wars and three uh-huh. pandemics, and and I had to live through, and I had to walk like 35 miles in the snow." And it's like, no, no, I'm sorry, nobody is gonna be proud of that. Okay, if anything, yeah, you're no. gonna be like, "I'm like, I really should be talking about that." You know, it, it's yeah. the thing. But one thing is to talk about struggle. Another is to make it up just because you want people to give you pity likes, okay? That, and that's been happening so much on Twitter. And that's that's kind of where, like, Marlon just took it back to where I started. And I've just been seeing so much of it. And it doesn't matter what you say. Like, you say something to somebody, it could be the most, you know, most wholesome fucking joke. And it could be however they – whatever they want to take it as to fucking flip it and make themselves look like the victim – and I'm not saying I'm not trying to like victim shame or victim blame because there are some people that, like I said, they go through some shit. They've had some shit happen to them. And I'm not talking about anything like that. But it's just it's just so frustrating to see some of you on Twitter. And 
I've followed or un, or muted, muted quite a few of you, and it's just it's insane to me. Like, like, like I said earlier, it's not a it's not a male or female thing. It's not like a like a man up thing. It's a grow up thing. You know what I mean? Grow the fuck up. Be an adult. Take care of your fucking responsibilities. It's not my responsibility. It's not Marlon's responsibility. It's your fucking responsibility. It's the same fucking thing that we all go through. Like, some people have it easier than others. Absolutely. Like, do I live a pretty good life now? Yeah, I absolutely do. I make good money. I have nice shit. Um, and I'm super thankful for that. So I don't want to, like, be in a position to put, like, anyone else, anyone else down for the things they have going on in their lives. But it's just... It makes me want to fucking like I'm already not on social media because of a lot of the stuff. I do have a personal Twitter. I follow like 80 accounts or 60 people, I think, on there. And it's mostly people that I actually know. I don't really follow back a lot of people on my personal one. But like through the AEG account, we follow a lot of you and we want to continue. I want to continue doing that. But seriously, man, I, I, maybe it's, maybe it's because I'm becoming ancient maybe, maybe i'm nah, dated yeah, you know nah, what i mean yeah, nah. i'm losing i'm slowly losing touch i'm almost 30 years old i'm becoming that fucking old guy that yells at Dude. kids to get off my lawn you know what here's i mean just saying though here's the thing though like you're not getting old the problem is that we as a society we're looking we have gotten soft i'm sorry that that's just the nature of it all we have gotten soft we we cannot grow a thick skin anymore we have grown we mm. have taught kids you know for the past two decades that it is okay for to to show your emotions and and yes it is okay oh it's 100 percent okay yeah but the problem is that we have gone deeper than that we got into the point where oh no you deserve everything without lifting a finger you deserve yeah. everything that that, that that it's not your fault it's society's fault that you have gotten a horrible life like no no listen listen you have control of whatever you do okay mm. If you decide to work your butt off, you're going to reward, you're going to get the reward of that. You know, if yeah. you say that, hey, I'm going to take control of my life and I'm going to and I'm going to make sure that I do everything that I can possibly to be able to better myself. That's fine. Beautiful. Nobody's going to do it for you. You have to do it yourself. Like 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 Dalton was saying, you have to grow up. Listen, I'm a personal trainer. When I train people, I tell them you're the one picking up the weights. I'm not picking them for you. You're the one having to better your diet. I'm not going to help you with your diet. You have to put in the effort to be able to show the results. And yet, we have seen the society of people where basically they look at a video on YouTube and they look at celebrities and they look at uh, at, uh, TV stars and stuff like that and they think that they are their friends. They think that they are... You know, or they're entitled. They're they feel entitled like they should have all whatever that. they do. Listen, you're not entitled to anything. You're entitled to your opinion, and that is it. But it, that, yeah. but when that opinion starts fucking with everybody else and just trying to ruin their life because you feel that you are holier than thou and that you feel that you're entitled to not just saying that you are the judge, the jury, and the executioner, but also the mm-hmm. freaking ferryman and also the freaking uh, guy putting it into the freaking cemetery i'm sorry you got issues yeah okay and that like i said it goes back to what i was saying a little bit ago and jeff i kind of hate to bring you in because <laughs> you've been so quiet over there no, but you're like, good i i've just i don't really have a lot to say on the subject so i mean yeah. go, go ahead though yeah um this goes back to what i'm saying like like you don't have to be like a big fucking burly ass badass dude to be fucking strong like like and that's why i was going to use you as an example jeff like you're not a fighter, you know what I mean? You don't go out starting shit with people. You actually, nope. you're super reserved. You're, yeah. you don't even like, even if someone pokes at you, you don't poke back. You nope. know what I mean? You're, you're, you're not, you're non-confrontational, but you're not also, you're not a, you're not the kind of person I was talking about. You know what I mean? Right. Like that, that goes just goes, it just proves my point. Like, but you're not sitting here on fucking Twitter making these big rants because I don't know because I said something to you or well, you know what I mean? It's just right. Yeah, I've I've never used social media as like a platform to, you know, get yeah, my, out here. Yeah, get my thoughts out. Likes. Right, like I I mean yeah, you know, they're, they're shit in everyday life bothers me. It bothers everyone else, but I don't need to. I guess I don't feel the need to throw it out there and be like, no, look at yeah, come on guys, don't you agree with me? Like this shit sucks, right? Like that. No, I don't. It's yeah, like. 
Well, ex- best example I can think of, Jeff, is like last year when I kind of blew up on you in our Discord. <laughs> we all remember that. You about didn't get the, on about the Need for Speed thing. Yeah, you yeah. didn't get on. You didn't get on social media. You didn't get on Twitter and like nope. flip it. Nope. And spin it and post this fucking l- stupid oh, ass yeah. tweet trying yeah, to like, victimize yourself. Oh yeah, on look. It. Yeah, look how much of an asshole Dalton is. Like, yeah. don't you yeah, guys feel it, sorry for me? Or, or like even this. like even without posting my name, you know what I mean? Right. Like flipped it, and made yourself look like, and then get people to feel bad for you. You know I what know. I mean? You didn't do that, I and that was the point I was trying I to make. Care less about doing that. Yeah, Here's we were fine like me. ten minutes right. later. Here's right. The thing for me is the fact that when you go on on, and this is something to do more to do with mental stuff and, and ha- not having the mental fortitude to be able to rationalize how things are happening in your life, and yet just thinking that everybody's against you. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. I go to Twitter and I'm looking at this random tweets about live about like, oh, you know, I feel that my, my fans are no longer like me anymore because they don't, they're, they're not paying their dues for me. I feel like I'm working my ass off for this ingrates and stuff like that. They're not giving me what I feel like I deserve. And I'm like, listen, you're a content creator. Okay. You decide to create the content that people will like. Okay. And if people find value in that, then they will, they will be the ones paying you price for that you cannot Mm -hmm. go on social media and demand that people are like you know cheapskates and you know freaking greedy assholes because you're asking for five bucks a month i'm sorry listen you have been born into a wonderful time where almost all the information available for men it is available for you in your pocket you are, yeah. have been able to create jobs and create opportunities and careers based on the fact that some people may like what you do or just may like your personality. But that does not give you the right to be demanding money from people and then getting mad that you are not getting that money. And then yeah. saying that it is their fault because you're busting your butt with dresses and for freaking makeup and in production where you're basically just standing in a bed yep. with a camera on your face and then saying demanding that you are this glorious superstar that demands millions of dollars yeah i am sorry and you know exactly who you are you piece of i'm not gonna say it but i have issues with all this people that have basically lost touch with reality and become entitled to the point where they feel that they're not just somebody but they're somebody important that has something important to say and i'm sorry but you're not (laughs) no and that that goes back to like everything we've done with this 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 show Everything we we put in it because we've all put our money and time into this. I show. just have I'm just a no. random guy saying random shit. If you like yeah. it, perfect. If you don't, okay, no skin off my back. But I'm not gonna go on fucking Twitter and go, oh my god, I feel like I've been humiliated by Tom oh, yeah. Jeff. I feel like I've been demoralized by these fans calling me a racist. I'm like, okay, so I have issues with Japanese people. Okay, that's fine. But that's just the culture <laughs> as a whole. I'm not a racist. Okay, I'm not gonna go with a bat and beat Japanese people like some people tend to do. I'm sorry. Hell, even Japanese people are looking at Western culture and going. You guys are. What the disgusting. fuck is wrong with you, idiots? Exactly. Yeah. They're like, they're like, they're like <laughs> exactly. what is up with you guys? Like, seriously, like, we just thought Sailor Moon was really cute. You guys making it seem like this whole bullshit about, like, you know, equality. I'm like, what the fuck? I- I'm sorry. Like, 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 Look, I'm just, yeah, I'm just like, a guy ranting. That's basically it. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> and I think we're probably going to lose lose some of our listeners because of this. <laughs> and uh, you know what? I don't care. Because at the end of the day, we started this show with the same goal we have now. I like getting together with you guys. I like sitting here talking to you guys about gaming and now other things that we're going to we be just, getting into yeah, here in a minute. And we just record it. Yeah. And we have. I have a lot of fun, dude. I, I look forward to this. Like. Today, man, I was looking forward to it all, all pretty much all weekend because right. like I haven't I haven't been able to do this with you guys for a while. Right. And how many people like in their thirties or late twenties can still say they get they sit down and talk to their friends as much as we do about fucking right. nonsense? I mean, we and right. not nonsense, but gaming. But like, if we lose a couple, we lose a couple. Yeah, we're, and that's that's kind of a good segue because like 
I, I wanted to bring that up. I talked to you guys a little bit about it in the Discord. Um, so if you're still with us, um, the AEG show is is no longer going to be just a gaming show. Um, we're going to talk about our various hobbies, um, who we are as a person, because we actually got so a lot of good feedback from our getting to know AEG episode. And then when we did our, our COVID-19 episode, I don't know, a couple months ago, we... A lot of good feedback, a lot of listens to those two episodes in particular, and we feel like uh, maybe that's what people want to hear. And if not, that's fine too. Like I said, I don't. I don't go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, basically, I I mean, I am basically just kind of reiterating what you're saying. Like, we want to just kind of go beyond just the video game aspect of our talks. Like, obviously, we have. You know, we have all, always have a lot to say about video games. It's how we got started. And we but still will. We just, we, exactly. And we're still going to, that's going to be the main focus of every episode. But we're going to, you know, there might be times where it'd be like, guys, I saw this crazy wrestling pay per view over the weekend and I want to talk about it. Even if you guys, you know, don't care about listening to it, you know, like, you know, get we'll sit here and wait. Right. You know what I mean? You know, and- and same thing I don't of like, care. You know, Dalton has a bunch of other hobbies outside of gaming too that I'm sure he yeah. wants to talk about. Shit, Dalton and I can talk about our kids and stuff like that. You know, yeah. just just little yeah. stuff like that. Like it doesn't have to be anything extravagant. Just we're gonna be peppering in that stuff more often than not now, basically. Books, media, you know, movies, you know, uh, TV anything. shows. Like my girlfriend and I've been got... watching The Handmaid's Tale. Like okay, yeah. something I thought that I would not really get into, but I love it. Marlon's so, doing a lot of shit with his personal training right now. I mean, he's exactly. got. He's got a lot of workout videos on Instagram you guys should check out too. It's if you're into yeah. that thing. I mean checked. Uh, yeah, Marlon's uh, uh, Marlon's our model for sure. Uh, no. Um and I I'm into a lot of different other things too. I mean, I've kind of I've kind of talked about it a little bit. Like, I'm not like a master of anything. Like like that Jack of all trades, master of none, that kind of fits me to the T because I know a lot or I know a little about a lot of shit. If that makes sense. And I'm not a gaming industry expert. Um, I don't think any of us really are. No, we, probably not. I we know, we know a lot. Uh, right. Like I have a lot of, you know, my knowledge base is pretty damn deep. But yeah, even but though we, we, you know, I mess, we forget, right, like, and, I mess stuff up. I mess up names and mess up titles and all that stuff yeah. all the time. But but we all have our, our things. And that's that was another one of the reasons kind of. Kind of hinted around at fucking uh, Gus messaging me someday and wanting to come back. I kind of hope he does because especially now that we're doing all this other stuff, it'd be kind of cool to have him back because out of all of us, he knew the most about the gaming industry. Absolutely. Like there's no, oh, yeah. there's no denying that. If you listen right, to like, uh, our, yeah, if you listen to any of our old shows, like uh, we, he could make us look like idiots sometimes with some of the stuff he knows. And absolutely. It's definitely he was a great asset to have on the show. Um and it'd be cool to have him back, especially if, especially now that we're opening up a little bit. I'm sure there's a lot of other cool stuff. Like that whole rant we just had back there a little bit ago, it would have been awesome to have him on that yeah, because he would have he would have really good points. He would have smoked some people before. better than I could have. And, yeah, right. Um, nuclear on some people. And especially yeah, he would have. He would have tore it up. So, um, Gus, if you still listen to the show, man, just know I still love you. I yeah, just would love you. Love you, man. Baby, come back. <laughs> no. <I'll, laughs> okay, name. No, uh, here's the thing, though. Uh, but but just that aside, um, hold on, Marlon. Just that aside, I I think we have a lot of other specialties, especially you know individually that we we kind of want to go into. But yeah, go ahead, Marlon. No, no, I was gonna ask uh, Jeff this thing. It's like, really, Handmaid's Tale, <laughs> dude? It's super good. Handmaid's Tale is friggin' sweet. We're already on season three. Like, I'm ready for Honestly, season four when like it already comes out. Kind of guy. Oh, thanks, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Like, uh, I've been watching. Actually, I've been watching a lot of like shows and stuff like that. Like, there's one comedy show that I didn't think I was gonna get into it, but man, I've been laughing my butt off with that. It's what we do in the shadows. I've heard that super good. If you wanna laugh your butt off for the next two or three on hours, Hulu, right? I think yeah, it's go on to Hulu. Hulu. Watch them. There's an episode where it says, "Wait, basically they get invited to a Super Bowl party, right?" But because they're vampires and they don't really understand media and culture stuff like that, they thought that it was a superb owl party. Okay. Oh my god! So they're going in there thinking it's gonna be have owls and they're gonna have stuff like that, and it just makes a complete mockery of the Super Bowl. 
Okay. That, that sounds like my kind of show. Like, just, like, be in super awkward, like, socially awkward situations. Like, that sounds perfect. So, so here's the thing. Like, yeah. it, there was an episode where, basically, they're vampires, right? So, they're, right. they're immortal beings, stuff like that. They don't believe in ghosts. That's the funny thing about it. Like, how are you going to tell me you're a vampire? You say, oh, no, no, ghosts don't exist. You know, that's just a, a, a supernatural thing that doesn't exist. I'm like, the whole premise is just full of shenanigans that just makes you laugh your butt off. And here's the thing for me, though. It's like, I, I, and, I, and this is like piggyback on what Dalton was saying. It's, we have opinions, okay? Our opinions are just our own, okay? Mm-hmm. They are not the law, the, the, the you know, God's law. They are not, you know, uh, something that basically people have to take in with, like, grain of salt. Because at the right. end of the day, you know, the only thing that all... matters to you is you. Because at yeah. the end of the day, whatever you see online, whatever people do, it's just, like, unless they're actually going out there and, 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 and harassing you. Okay. Yeah. Like, the, Look, the, if you're being an asshole apologize but other than that like if people are actually harassing you stuff like that then (laughs) i can see i i can understand uh, you getting mad about it but if you're going out there and harassing people and then playing the victim afterwards Mm -hmm. you have some issues i'm sorry get that or if someone says something so simple to you that just not even you're just like i said some people are just looking to get yeah, outraged or upset I mean, about something. Th- th- think about it. We, it happened to us with, with, with Gus. You know, he said something and people were saying, oh, you know, delete this from the freaking podcast because he's a... Oh, a, a, a. yeah. And I'm I forgot like, about that. What the that. fuck are you ta- on on about, bro? Like, you, he's a, it's his, his opinion. He can say it. That you cannot come in and tell us, hey, listen, you, you have to do this because I say so because I feel that that should be better for the show. I'm like, you're not part of the show. You don't even know us, okay? So uh, I shut forgot up. Someone, someone called for us to be boycotted when we had like 400 followers. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm like, come on. It was like, it, it's, it, it's not... It, it, Social media. And you know what though? I fucking straight up. I I fucking I handled that. I you know what I mean I will every time when it when it's any of you guys, no matter no matter who, if it, even if it's against one of our own, I'll back you guys up if you're right. You know what I mean? It's it just is, it's just the way the culture is right now. It we, yeah. we are tr- we're looking for. I, I feel that we are looking to get annoyed and offended by every little thing that happens in our life because mm-hmm. we are. Number one, either we're looking for brownie points online. Yeah, that says you need that sympathy too. Like, like look at my sympathy. Look at how my struggle that I have to go through. And I'm like, no, listen, like you, if you went through bullshit and and people are there to give you a pat on the back and say, hey, listen, that's fine. I have no issues with that. Yeah, and if you need to talk about something, talk about it. Like, none of us have an issue with that. But if you're going online and creating drama. Out it's, there, because you just want to feel that people are attention to you, and you always want to feel like you're the 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 the, the, the spotlight is, is on you. I'm sorry, you you need to grow up because in life that's not how things go. Like maybe on social media, maybe you think that there's a there's a amount of importance to what you have, but in the grand scheme of things, I'm sorry, your opinion is just one of 7.1 billion people your opinion is just someone in a vast universe where basically you're smaller than a grain of sand yeah brother like that, that's a, that's like i've noticed people man <laughs> marlon you want to know the thing i've noticed the most and this is this is kind of funny um the people on the internet that use the term clout chasers, which is fucking stupid. I, there's always some stupid ass saying on the internet, but I don't want to get into that. I could, I could just yeah. go off on that for a while. But the people that use that phrase or saying clout chasers are the ones that are always fucking posting about China. They're they're the ones out doing the chasing. Oh, it's like. like... So if if any of what we've said, if any of it resonates with you, or if any of it hit a nerve, just know that it was about you because. It, it, whether it's intentional or not, and I'm not saying that I, I want to like stop interacting with you people because I don't. But if it did, work on it. You know what I mean? That's the best thing you can do. Um, we're all adults here. We all need to. We all need to grow up. We all we all say and do stupid shit sometimes, but grow up for real. That's that's all I have to say about it. And hashtag if grow you, up. 
Yeah. And if you haven't canceled us yet, thank you. I mean, because yeah, we're we went a lot of places tonight. And yeah. at this point, I don't want to I don't want to do this kind of shit all the time, especially on our show, because I it, it's supposed to be fun for us. Oh, absolutely. And I want to put out fun shit and fun content and stuff. But we already went there. We're already here now. So I, I don't have a, I don't have any fucking any qualms with going here again. Right. Yeah, yeah, hopefully, I mean, hopefully you continue to join us and talk about some video game stuff and some other stuff and just have fun with us, like you know, like we like to do. But yeah, we're we're here now, so this is this is what we're doing. Here's something, <laughs> and I'll just say this uh, as a, a you know my last statement for the night is this: if you're going to hold companies responsible and held them to a certain standard where you don't want them to treat you like shit, where you don't want them to take advantage of you, where you don't want them to basically keep making false promises and, and making you feel like your money does not count or your opinion doesn't count, then you have to also put yourself accountable for that. Okay? If you're going to be spending time you know, demanding that Bethesda, EA, Bioshock, I mean, BioWare, and, and Ubisoft, and all these companies do right by you, then you also have to do right by other people. And mm -hmm. you also also have to put into perspective, hey, listen, maybe I've been a dick to people around me without realizing it, and maybe I need to fix that about me, you know? Mm -hmm. Just the way it is, you know? I'd rather deal with an honest asshole than a hypocritical nice guy. And mm -hmm. that's just the way it is with me, you know? Yeah, because who's the real asshole in that situation? Right, but very much so. One last but thing before Jeff closes it. Go for it. Um, the AEG account, all of our stuff... We're still going to be, we'll still interact the way we always have. Like nothing's changed. Um, I want to definitely, it shows our human side. You know what I mean? It, it's fun to get on the AEG account and, and fuck with some of you guys or interact with some of you guys. We have a, we have a killer time doing this. So none of that's going to change. Um, but if, but that's, that's the way we're going to do it. We're either going to grow by that or we're going to fucking collapse by that. But that's the way we're doing it. And that's everything we said tonight is carried with us going forward so now you know who the fuck we are you know who we are as a group and if now if you didn't figure it out within the first two and a half years you know now it's all out here on the table so that's all that's all i want to say um i love doing this show with you guys um i hope we do a bunch more uh, i have no intention of quitting anytime soon so oh heck no well, thank you guys. Uh, as always, Dalton, Marlon, appreciate it. Um, you know, I, it was it was a fun one as it always is. I enjoyed Absolutely. enjoyed talking with you guys. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll be getting some more. Like I've been actually, I don't know, you know, you know, if you guys follow us on on Twitch, actually, um, I have been kind of dabbling with uh, getting back into the Twitch streaming now that I have you know like a good PC and stuff to do it. Um, the one th main thing I really need is a is a camera, like a webcam, which will be, you know, getting at some point uh, here in the near future, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I I want to I want to kind of get back into that. I'd like to get the grind back, uh, you know, up and running. I know I've said that, you know, a little bit now, but <laughs> I, I want to get I want to get that back going uh, because I think you know, especially with everything going on, I want yeah. to see I want you know I want to have fun I'm fun one with it. I want to have fun with it. Yeah. So definitely want to interact with you guys and stuff on there too. So yeah, absolutely. And, and I'm going to try to be a little bit more active on Twitter, my personal Twitter and the, the AG one, um, because I want to see, you know, I want to talk to you guys. Yeah. So I don't have anything else. Do you guys have anything else? No, nope. I think Marlon and I fucking said what we had to say. All right. <laughs> I, can't, I can't speak for Marlon, but no, you're I mean, good. He, he and I had, I actually kind of glad Marlon was here to, back me up on all that yeah i was so gonna was say cool. yeah you definitely that was definitely, a tandem right there that was a tandem effort he, he, it's good know, it's good thing for me it enjoyed like listening this. it's life is too short to let people bother you in that extent mm -hmm. it is there you true, go especially with this whole coronavirus thing where you have seen a lot of people you know lose their lives and stuff like that think about it yeah. enjoy your life but don't yeah. make it seem like you are better than anybody else you are your life you are your own person. Live it, enjoy it, and have fun. And absolutely, you know, just respect your, and be respectful to other people. That's all. That, there that's you go. Well said, Marlon. Well, don't be a dead. dead.
Don't be a dick. Well don't said, everybody. Suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Yeah, fuck. That. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, thank you guys as always, and we will see you here next time on the AEG show. Take care, everybody.